so I just had another idea about um, an unexpected use of uh, Sapel, uh, of Sapel's clock. I already did a video about randomizing the clocks that I will link here and in the description, but um, I wanted to push the things a little bit further because if you, I don't know if you already know that, but Sapel's clock is quite thick. It's about two milliseconds long, twice Falistris uh, um, trigs uh, in the fastest possible configuration. So uh, by default, I can run it quite fast. It can go well into audio rate. Nothing too fancy, but I can use an external clock and make it run even faster. For example, brain source uh, square wave output. Let's use this one. And it can go up to 500 Hz, which corresponds to 2 milliseconds. It's the maximum duty cycle, if you want to call it that way, of the trig. When the brain will go faster than that, the octave will drop. And uh, so this suggests us that I can use uh, Sapel as an actual oscillator. But let's patch it to Fumana though. Uh, and here, and tame it a little bit. Like this. Okay, and now let's use this controller to change Prince's pitch. Ah, I'm using the green one. Of course, you can hear that when the note gets too high, the voltage divides by two. Instead of the trig, I can use a random voltage, for example, the sample and hold, which is gonna sound like a noise. Whose frequency I can somehow control. And I can do the same with the other voltage. I have this very digital, this very uh, kind of uh, lo-fi vibe. And I can use it to blend it uh, with an oscillator like Brainsaw's uh, Square Wave. Probability distribution. And this is one of, uh, of the ideas. But the coolest one, I think, is this one. If I control an oscillator and use the oscillator to clock Sapel, I can use the clock as a oscillator. Still, what if we listen to the random clock instead. Now it is set to less than mode, so it outputs... So sometimes it outputs the clocks, and some other it doesn't. And it gives us this very nice uh, glitchy sound, this very nice uh, almost uh, broken jack kind of sound which we can play, and it will keep tracking. And I like it quite a lot, especially if combined with Fumana. So let's go back, something like this, 
and this. And if I set it to more than mode, I have another kind of scratchiness. I like it more, something like this. The other thing is that uh, since our oscillator cannot go past a certain speed, we can take advantage of that to create uh, some sort of automatic chords like we would do with Falistri. Let's go back to this one. This is a frequency where they somehow track together. And now it dropped by one octave. Since and now I am playing into a higher register, I am gonna use a waveform with less uh, harmonic uh, uh, content, so it won't be too too harsh. And now I am sending this to the lower register since I'm gon not gonna need its present here. I'm gonna leave this one to the brain oscillator. What if we add also our sample and hold? What if we use this to modulate the carrier of Fumana and create some sort of uh, spectral transferring? Like that. quite careful to avoid distortion. And through the probability distribution, I can choose if I want to emphasize the lower end or the highest part of the spectrum. I like it very much. I was thinking about perhaps blending a sawtooth in the mix or maybe just send it to the reverb. 
Or just a sign. And bring us uh, this one back into the... This is a bunch of tips to use a sapel uh, mm, incorporated uh, like as an actual part of your sound design and not just like a modulation tool which was the main scope it was designed for. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you next time.